everyone it's been a while since i've made any hackintosh videos so this is my latest hackintosh project this is a an old hp compact persario it's a an sr1000 it has a pentium d processor in it as you can see there's a sticker right there i'm going to be switching this computer on at the moment it's running Snow Leopard 10.6.7 Now please note you cannot update a Pentium D to 10.6.8 um, Might be a slight chance if you're an advanced user, I'm not completely sure But from what I've read it's been advised not to because it prepares the computer for Lion which requires um, different specs such as a Core 2 Duo processor it has wireless and wired I don't know if you can read that that's the wireless dongle and it's on the end of a USB extension because I don't like these sticking out to the back but anyway I'm going to go and put this camera on the tripod now and I'll show you the machine firing up okay let's fire up this Pentium D Hackintosh as you can see it is a Pentium D The Ethernet cable or network um, card in it is an RT-L8169SC and it kept saying IP address not a sign. Um, I found out it was a KEX that was conflicting with so I install LNX to Max Realtek RTL81XX driver, which was on somebody's blog. I installed that and it got rid of the conflict in text for me and got the card working properly. So I now have wired and wireless internet. As you can see there, my wireless um, window has opened up. I will leave some links in the description because uh, I used iAtcos S3 to install on this Pentium D and I um, followed a guide for a gigabyte motherboard. Uh, I didn't follow every step in there because obviously this the motherboard in this machine is going to have different sound drivers and such but I just followed the guide. Um, to customize IAT costs for a Pentium D. Um, I left the sound on the internet alone, I done that later on. Okay, I'm gonna stop yapping about that and give you a little guide around my machine. Um, I managed to find Firefox 35. as you can see loads up it's in 32 bit snow leopard is because it's a pentium d so if i go to about this mac it shows there that it's an intel core duo but it's not it's a pentium d the only thing that is right here is the four gigabytes of ram so if i click on more info As you can see, there's my Ethernet, Ethernet, I don't know how you pronounce it, card. And there's my graphic card, which is a NVIDIA GeForce 8400GS, 256 megabytes. Um, yeah, when I updated. I just click into my hard drive and go to system, library, 
and we want extensions now everything with USB in it I made a backup up of it's down here somewhere I uh, basically everything that's got IO family in it I backed up I just dragged it into a folder everything just to be on the safe side and all the USB ones are in there as well and I reinstalled I'm using text text wizard sorry and everything went okay so anyway that is what I've been working on lately and I'll be selling this machine soon because it's now stable and everything's working on it properly this is my Intel Pentium D Compact Presario SR1000 Hackintosh running Snow Leopard 10.6.7 Thanks for watching